All right, we're here at the 2020 ATA show in Indianapolis, and we figured we ought to do a Lone Wolf custom gear to Crystal Series podcast yeah. here while we're all together. Yeah, a complete, complete product breakdown. Um, all the new stuff we have, uh, go through all the features, how everything works, and kind of give you firsthand a dive into uh, what we brought here at the show and what will be new for uh, this upcoming fall. Yeah, so what do you got there? We you were uh, good? water you're in Hollywood. Cody just pretty, finished a cake pop. Pretty excited from about <laughs> these new products. I didn't think they would uh, be accepted as well as they were at the show. It's um, surprising to me. Well, you guys kind of dropped all this pretty last second on everyone. I don't think anyone was expecting kind of what you guys did and, and pulled off. We we teased the camera arm, and I, that has been. I mean, what has been more buzz at the show so far? We'll break down all this stuff, but <sighs> the camera arm or the stand or the. I mean. I don't Dude, even know where to start with it. Where do you want to go? I, I think a lot of guys, definitely the camera arm. Yeah, um, yeah number, number one. I mean, the camera arm's got to be number one. I think just the fact that it is so, I think, light years beyond anything right now available right. for these guys who are running gun, hunting, and, I mean, everybody's trying to minimize that pack and get a smaller pack and a, and a, a, a smaller package, you know, yeah. for the camera arm. And not only that, something that we keep stressing on the size of it, it is so easy to hang, and it's so quick to hang, so it's more, it's more efficient. So I think that is and, – and it looks badass. Yeah, it's really I mean, cool. It's, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And it packs away yeah. real nice, too, so it's, that's yeah. a function. But, but people – uh, you know, looks badass. People, it's all matters now. Dude, people buy with their eyes. I mean, I'm t- – Honestly, you know, yeah, yeah. Just like – I mean, it's like you – you you, If you, you want your product to look good, yeah. it matters a bit. You it know? Does. I think our products look better than anybody's out there. I would agree with you, Andre. Well, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's it's uh, yeah, but sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that we got uh, that out of the way, <laughs> no. So now okay, they are well, functional too. Well, <laughs> while they work. we're uh, while we're on the the subject of the camera, and we'll just do a complete breakthrough or breakdown of this. Yeah, run it this through. Product. Run it so, through. Um, and you might have seen the videos, but okay. So we got a 28 inch reach, a three piece arm. Um, it is a five ace profile, so it's very very thin and compact. That's why we call it the pocket arm. You can slide it in your pocket. Uh, it actually it works off of a single uh, tree attachment point or, or a, a tooth, if you will. Um, that's the content point for mounting it. The top set screw um, will tighten you down and lock you in place. And it's very simple to get the hang of. You simply strap the tree or strap, put the strap around the tree, um, have your tensioning screw backed off, take all the slack out of the belt, and then you're actually going to cam this thing down, uh, put your body weight on it, Turn it right, turn it left, find that magic spot right in the bubble, and then simply just turn this until it hits the tree and let go. I mean, and you are uh, solid. Ready to rock. I mean, just. See, I, I used to film my hunts a lot, and then I had, like, the big base that I had to, like, ratchet strap on, <laughs> and then the arm I had to pull out that was just big and bulky, like, right. bigger than that, just the arm, like, way bigger than that, that I had to get out of my pack and then slide it in, and then, oh, dude, uh, dude it was so, a pain in the ass. So with that arm and using leverage, you can literally get that belt tighter than – those old ratchet type right. deals. So. Well, plus I'm um, running a ratchet strap too yeah. in the middle of the woods. And and here you got a one ounce buckle versus a big bulky yeah. eight ounce. And right, that's the most right. important thing about this. Like the over, I mean, the final weight is you know, one point six pounds, right? Yeah. I mean, and uh, not only that, utility hook. The utility hook. I mean, probably overlooked, but probably the best part about this arm, honestly. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, sure. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't know about that. Like, if you think about it as a system, though, no. I mean, this is always the first thing you are setting right up on there. Her. Yeah, you don't have to mess around with a screw and hook. I mean, you can literally mm-hmm. hang your backpack on there, and you can hang a heavy ass backpack on there. Like it's it, it's a stout. <laughs> like this thing is stout when yeah. that's on the tree. Yeah, I think you will be surprised. And we're well, going right to be releasing there. the workout video with this thing. That's oh, the next. Oh, that's, that, that's I, I just learned about thing. this. You just learned about it. That thing is the it's the mobile hunters tool right there because it goes hand in hand with the stand, the sticks, and then mo- like most guys are self filming. That's the mobile hunter self filmer. That's Number one, that thing is, that thing is changing the game already. And this fall, I think a lot of guys are going to be running that, waking up to just the convenience of, I mean, the pocket arm. You know what I mean? That's Available probably in the next four to six weeks. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, ready for yeah. the show. Well, well, um, yeah, and and we're going to have um all the detailed specs uh up on the site very soon. Uh, LoanCustomGear dot com. You can go there and kind of. We're going to do some breakdown videos, uh, how to properly set it, you know, some, some, all the specs. So you could check it out there. Uh, but that's, that's the, the arm for 2020, the pocket arm. Yeah. This, 
I want to hop to this next because I saw this last time I was at your guys' place when we did the last uh, DeQuisto Series podcast. That, I think, is going to be huge, and I'm excited about this because I just I like the four full-length sticks. That's what I like. Smaller versions over the, over the long? Yeah, but but – also, I also I want to get a little lighter and just simpler and quicker. More compact. You know, and that right there, I think, is where I'm going to go for this coming fall. Um, just the convenience and the size of it. Okay, so this is our uh, answer to the cable later that guys have been using. Uh, I've been watching some YouTube videos and watching some guys climb up and down trees and wondering how they're going to do that in the dark or navigate through it. And I'm like, uh, I wouldn't want to do it. So I, I was brainstorming a little bit, made a prototype. And I've actually been hunting most of the season with these. We had some uh, patents we wanted to try and get pending, so we kind of kept it a secret from a, a lot of people. But um, I'm normally a three-stick type guy. Um, I started out with the two, and then when I got these eighters on here, it literally makes these little sticks climb even nicer and bite into the tree better. So what you got here is a, a rigid cable instead of a, a piece of webbing. Uh, it folds up flat so you can still stack all your sticks. And if you notice here... It literally, you can't bump it out of the way. You can't uh, uh, make any missteps. It puts the step right in the spot that mm-hmm. you want it for coming, going up and going down. Um, again, high tensile strength cable. It's smooth enough so a boot can get in and get out of there mm-hmm. without, without binding. Fold her up, um, lock her down. And then my prototypes fastened in a different area where you couldn't get all of them. But right now you could put four eighters on four sticks and still stack them all. Nice and flat. That's so, awesome. Yeah, so you're not giving up the benefit of the whole compact. Right, type. right. That was the big thing I didn't want to do. I didn't want to have a big, you know, gaudy well, uh, aider off there and, and not have it fold together nice. So Yeah, and, well, and yeah. Another, another cool feature, too, it seems, it seems simple, but something you can't do with a rope, like not by any means. But when you have this down and, and you're, you're kind of you. going up a tree that's a little, I guess, different and you know, you can always just move this, and it stays right where you put it. Like, so if you're right. if you're scaling the tree and you start to edge to the right, and you need, you know, it's kind of a, a pain to get your boot up to that spot. You can kind of just cock it over and get your boot in there nice and easy. You know, and it always comes back down, and it leaves you right where right where you started off. Cody, is that what you killed your buck with this year? Because you said you were only two yeah. sticks high. Yeah. You give me grief so, about that a little bit. But no, the whole uh, yeah, the whole year. Um, I was using, I think you were running four sticks yep. with, eight, with two eighters, and I was running just two compact sticks with, with two eighters, uh, the, the prototypes. And, and like, like he said, we kind of had them in a different configuration throughout the season. But um, it's just, I mean, I think I was getting, I, I was, and, and due to, normally I don't measure, but I, I was just curious. You know, I wanted yeah. to see my, my um, average height that I'd get, and I was getting like 12 feet. Really? 12 feet with, with two? two. Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, now with I was. two with the eighters. Yes. Yeah. And, but two minis, you know, and, yeah, I, and yeah. I was stretching them a little bit at, at the first stick. I always stretch it a little bit. Yeah, I'm on the right. ground. But try, try and get one of his setups. <laughs> so that, what's your first one at like <laughs> yeah. seven foot? Well, I usually put the first stick on as high as I can get. Right, yeah, because you're, you're gaining that extra couple foot right yeah. there. Yeah. And, but 12 feet's the, the, the money zone for me, um, and that's just Because we talked about like the last podcast, there's that sweet spot where you're, you're not too high where you're skyline and you're not too low. You're kind of like in that. That weird range where, like, a deer might not be used to, like, looking for right. for a threat, so I guess. another nice thing is it uh, just happened to, that these fit on all of our sticks. So you can put them on a, a yeah. three-stepper. And we have a, a new double step we're going to be showing you here, too. We, we already put a hole in there so you can a- attach one to each one of these um, uh, new double steps. And they'll literally go on just about anybody's climbing sticks on the market right now. Uh, I just looked at the XOPs with one change of a bolt length. You can bolt these probably to the bottom of all those sticks. So it's uh, mm-hmm. uh, anybody's sticks out there will be able to um, utilize that. That's technology. awesome. I've never used an aider, but just the look of like a regular like rope aider just I was, made me uncomfortable. I don't I, know. Yeah, I was, you know, and then, man, when I started climbing it and, and messing with it, I thought, wow, this is. Yeah. So when you put your foot in there, are you like, is your foot up against the tree so toe, you can, it's stable? Toe toe, to yeah. The, yeah, toe to the, uh, to the tree, and it just. You know, you know so there's going to be guys putting these on four full length sticks and getting like yeah. 48 yeah. foot. No, up. yeah, yeah. What are, I mean, I've seen a guy going but, 30 foot with like one taking it off and going to the next. The, <laughs> oh, really? You don't want to be doing that, but uh, I mean, the whole thing is oh, though, three it's ounces just, too. It's just yeah, it's just it's minimizing the amount of sticks you got to take for how, however you want to get. Yeah, so right. yeah, if, yeah, I just literally talked to two guys that are like, we are 30 feet up. Yeah, like, that's insane. And he's like, so I want six full length sticks. And six I said, okay, full length. 
Yeah. So he's, you know, I mean, you got to think if he's yeah, getting, he's getting up there, then he's yeah, more than that to get thirty, probably. You need no, I, th- I mean, if you're, he's kind Stretching of he's kind of a tall guy, you know. So I just I kind of, um, but anyway, so I'm like, well, that's your opportunity to now use four with eighters on every one of them, or yeah. three with eighters, on, and then you're cutting your weight down. I mean, it's just right. so. Whatever. So I had two eighters uh, with two sticks and ran four, but I'd say eighty percent of the time I was using. Two sticks with eighters and then the one single, and I always left, like, the one on the ground. And if I needed it, I had the extra well, stick. So. And that's the thing about these, two: Like, you don't have to use it. You could have this on every one of your sticks, and you could have four sticks on your stand. And if you're like, oh, well, I can get up there with just four sticks, and I don't need to stretch it. I mean, you don't have to put it down and step right. into it. That's um, awesome. I like that a lot. I think that's going to be a real popular tool this fall, man. Let's, ro- now, let's roll into you the, the double step. While we're talking about steps. Yeah, steps. While we're talking about steps. Okay, so they put the put the screws to me and said uh, customers are asking for uh, a double step. So um, we did some thinking on it. We did some cutting. I think about four months ago, spent mm-hmm. an hour and a half or so on it, and then just went away from it. Uh, we were originally going to do some double steps on this model. Uh, didn't pan out very well, and we started looking at doing a uh, a single piece. All the steps can you know. Um, no bolt on, completely cut into one unit. We were able to go with thinner material, mm-hmm. lighter, and literally this has uh, more steps on it than the other one, and it's probably a little lighter than uh, original. So we're looking at about a pound uh, and a half per per stick. Um, we found a way to stack them so you could put as many as you want on there, and literally four of these are like two and a half inches tall. Yeah. You can't get more <laughs> compact. Than that, you put yeah, a little of that awesome. stealth tape between there, uh, yeah. sweeten them up. You got a big, longer double step with a big surface area, mm-hmm. plenty of nice smooth area to grab onto, not cutting your hands or tearing you up. Uh, I think the guys that like two steps are gonna. Yeah, I know. I was talking to some people it, at the so. booth uh, yesterday, and the guy's like, "Man, I'm gonna get one of these and put up next to the ambush next to it, so he can kind of step off and kind of expand like his foot room." So I, guys are already brainstorming, like, mm-hmm. you put one on each side of the ambush and kind of have, you know, a foot rest or however your setup is. But, uh, yeah, I can yep. see guys get to thinking. I, I would like this for my top step because if I'm messing around, I can put both my feet up there instead of, like, I, I'm fine with the other sticks, but just a little more comfortable. Especially we, we were talking guys that use the lineman's rope that are climbing, uh, that use the cinders or whatever. Yeah, yeah, then they're just wanting to kind of hang out there and, and set their stand. But Right. It's more I comfortable mean, when you're up, up 30 foot in a tree. Yeah. Bridging, uh, you know, bridging from that while we're still on sticks, um, you know, a big thing throughout the course of the year, you know, um, there's various ways that guys were were running their sticks on their stands, you know, with their grommet ports. So, like, I know me personally, um, I I did an additional bungee, and we thought about coming out with a a bungee that was made for it. I have a bungee through my through my uh, center post that I was actually using as a little bit additional security to strap those sticks down. I like the belts on the sticks. I do not take them off. Dad was running them with no belts, but that's what kind of led to this. So um, a little unique apparatus here that Dad's got. Um, this will lock those sticks down to that stand. I mean, you, could, you can carry this stand by the sticks. Like, they will not budge. So um, I'm going to show you that right now. So Yeah, so we didn't have – we have one uh, at the booth set with them, but it's basically a little piece of hardware, a torque knob, a J-hook. And what it allows you to do is take your sticks, you're still using your ports, your grommets, um, and with the belts off, um, it makes it just a, such a quick fold-down, tear-down. Mm-hmm. I literally... Um, and you can do it with the belts on, too. Right. Is it, is this is just to show that you can... Yeah. Uh, we'll have different size ones, so if you run your sticks out separate, you can have one that's long enough for four. But right. uh, the ones we're going to give away with the stands and stick combos in the future would be for a four-pack mm-hmm. of long or minis. And you just run them basically through the holes. You do a half twist on it, and you basically tighten them up. And because of the rubber uh, grommets on there, it pulls those sticks down. It doesn't let them slide right or left. Mm-hmm. And you will not believe how stable and hassle-free carrying these sticks out now where it, where it started right. especially with the tall sticks was kind of a you know guys were coming up with their own ideas and this actually was right. a pro staff guy that had a concept mm-hmm. uh that i built off of so he's a pretty uh he'll be filming for us next year and we'll have a 
Um, probably have him on one of these shows, and um, right. he seems to be a gadget guy too, and he's got some ideas on some other things with um, stands yeah. and stuff. So this I, is going to be was, a, an excellent addition. To I, it was good before too, especially, but you know, like with the full length stick, if you got to get through some thick stuff, and you just never oh, know. Man, like you just, this is the added security, but yeah, yeah that's awesome. you could you could get snagged up with the full length, and that I mean, if that yeah, happened, yeah. they ain't coming off. You right. know, they're they're staying solid. Right. Um, I'm man. Yeah, I might be you, most excited about this. We gotta get you a, big, a little stand, dude. You're excited. I'm a little stand guy. That's, well, obviously. So this has been sitting on the table this entire time. Yeah. And you <laughs> got anybody you got, got any ideas? What we're gonna call this one. Well, maybe we put it out to the viewers. There That's you go. a good idea. We maybe we, we take submissions. You All know. Right. So this is yep. the new tree stand. Five point three pounds right now. We still got some. We still got some. Uh, some 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 kinks to work out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so don't, we don't have don't a hold name. to it. No, you, this, this don't one, bash us if it goes over five and a half pounds. Yeah. You know, well. the uh, but this is uh, like the the minimalist. You know, I mean, it's just it's a, it's a slightly smaller footprint than the 1.0, but you have all the same capabilities. You got the leveling, you got the offset, you got the frame pack feature. You still got you know all those accommodations. But I think this is the perfect bridge, um, uh, like between that. Saddle hunting style, hang on style. Like you could literally saddle hunt out of this. You could turn it around and you could use it as a tree stand. Because you know, I mean, the sad thing is, like, we don't want to be hunting for a tree. So this right here will get you anything you need to get into. And everybody wanted lighter. Yeah, they wanted lighter. I, I was surprised. Lighter. We already had the lightest stand on the market with and, the one point mm-hmm. It that, looked a little tiny, and then we put it on a tree and got it and did a little work. And I'm like, man, this is this is a huntable stand that's yeah. two and a half pounds lighter. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I like so. it. messing around with that. Like the 1.0, I love. Like I, in, I talk a lot with Byron about. It. Like in my head, that's like the perfect size for yeah. me. I just really it feels even good. for big boots late season. Yeah, yeah. You feel stealthy in it. It, it. You can get in almost any any tree you want. But this just is. I you know I might maybe I like the the size of the 1.0 a little better. Maybe I, mm-hmm. I you know just with this being so small, but I think that's going to allow guys to get in some crazy stuff like just some yeah. crazy small yeah. like smaller trees um tighter spots i'm i'm looking for just the Height ease of it longer yep yep Deeper yeah i mean it you know and you know the progression the 1.0 is that's an eight pound stand with a and it's a full size stand really i mean like we didn't mm-hmm. sacrifice any room on that yep. and nice i think size seat and that was yeah. that yep. was the perfect starting point so you know this right here is the other direction these guys who are really getting nutty with it and wanting to cut ounces and save more weight? So mm-hmm. um, this will be. Uh, but this but will guess be your what? Stand. There's a bunch of guys that want a bigger platform in the stand now too. Yeah. So and, we're and, we're listening. We're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We'll what do you model. prefer, Andre? I mean, what do you think you're gonna? I use haven't. This we for? haven't hunted with this size, but I've thirty some years of developing and doing. Uh, um, production trying to reduce size mm-hmm. i think i mentioned it before i always you know i cut the stands down cut them down and then i'm always coming back i'd always come back to 27 inches long uh, and about 19 inches wide mm-hmm. uh, but this stand when you when you stand the net 27 uh 19 wide and where your feet are there's some extra stand hanging off there this one still has that same room mm-hmm. you're just not getting a little extra bell and whistle on the side and it's uh right right early season um and man, two and a half pounds even lighter. That's crazy. That well, one guy was uh, almost walked off with it. He forgot he had on his back. <laughs> testing it out. I had it on my back earlier, and you were some, just trying to walk off with it. Uh, well, yeah, I'm yeah. going to. You, you, when you look away, some lady grabbed it off my back. I see you see that? that? I, I was like, that. "What are you yeah. doing?" She's, "Can I try this on?" I'm like, <laughs> "Sure." Yeah. yeah, it's our women's stand. Yeah. They yeah. make everybody mad. Well, <laughs> no, I mean it's it's funny you say that, but I have talked to more women who are jacked about this stand, like that hunt with their husbands and stuff like they were just pumped you know and i i I didn't see that originally with the 1.0 and i got that a lot from elderly people like hey you know i had back surgery i can't carry more than 15 pounds i love that you guys did the 1.0 i'm getting back in the woods i'm getting back in the tree and that felt awesome it was like oh that's something i didn't even look at yeah well now even like i think i talked to a couple women today that were like that's mine when can i get it like i need I'm, i'm sick of carrying that whatever you know that Millennium or whatever they were doing, like, and they don't want, they don't need the extra room, the smaller stature, and um, and now it's not just a little lighter. I mean, this thing is literally like half the weight of some stands people are carrying around. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it's so. like you, it's like you got a jacket on when you when you have it yeah. on your back. But um, do you think people are going to want smaller? I mean, then you're uh, then you're at the not, ambush. But then you're yeah, at the ambush. Not I mean, it, if you want the ambush, th- this will be the. I think this will be the sweet spot, and I'm really looking forward to, you know, even pushing this to some of these Western guys. 
I mean, you know, uh, there's a. I think there's a Perfect. big a big need. These guys out west that are scouting the mountains and stuff, and like uh, it's. Wallow. It's the perfect go in and I mean yeah Water if, hole. if you find yeah, that yeah. that ambush point you know with trees I mean it's Small like little brushies dude that's you and then it's got the frame them. pack feature I mean yeah what what do you prefer Cody do you like smaller or are you more yeah. in, well so he'll he'll, he'll, like, he'll be all over this no shit. so so you, <laughs> you you well we've we, we butt heads about the 1.0 because well. he always comes back to the 27 I don't come back to the 27 mm-hmm. I literally did a test this year on my platform um as far as like where and mm-hmm. where i'm stepping dude i never used n- like maybe out of the i mean just i don't even know how many times i i hung the stand it was a lot of times and i was never using the outer edge and i i just like being tight to the tree yeah, i just even I if i have that oh, extra yeah, this this will bring it i don't i don't <laughs> like uh um you know having that separation so and I don't mind it. Like, it's kind of a comfort thing, too, a little bit. Like, I like being, yeah. for me, anyway. See, I'm a 90% sitter, so the leg room is where I'm getting at. Mm, you got that yeah. 27 out there. Now, for a guy who stands, this is pulling that area back in the street where, where if I was standing, I'd want to be. Right, yeah. That's so now, instead point. of being on that little tighter spot, that wider is a little bit further back. So. Do you stand most of the time when you're hunting? Like No, I sit all the time. Like, but I don't, really? I'm not a, I don't, I don't care if my feet. Angle like my, if my toes are a couple inches off the end, right, right, yeah. And like that's just uh, that's my preference. Yeah, I sit more, but like my dad will stand like the entire time. Yeah, but I started yeah. like you know, like we talked, like I was really trying to get into the the saddle platform this year and yeah. uh, try to you know do that. And then I started standing a little bit more, and I'm like, okay, I can get into standing. And if it's like just a certain situation, but it's nice, even if you're a stander. Everybody wants to sit down and take a break every once in a while. Yeah. Like just well, now you got a seat. I mean, that that there's no extra weight and it's there. So right. it just seemed like a lot of guys just they just they want that lighter man, the lighter, and they see they can knock another two pounds off. They're on it. So yeah, I'm uh, pumped about this one, man. If I grab yeah, it, yeah, you're pretty excited about it. Um, that's gonna be my jam. I think I'm excited to use it. Mm-hmm. I mean, the 1.0 is killer. I absolutely love it, but I'm. I'm I'm excited to get in this and see how I feel in it up in the tree. And who knows, maybe I might go back to the, the 1.0. And, well, a lot uh, of guys are going to still use the 1.0, and they said they're going to add this to their arsenal. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, deadly, deadly setup. So. Yeah, because people don't want to give up that. Well, and, and, you know, you got all different size hunters, too, like, you know, size yeah. guys. I right, mean, yeah. But, you know, even – I was talking to guys that were like six four, six five. That are like, oh, dude, this is me. I'm, I'm in dude, it. It's my jam. Josh McDaniel, our buddy. I think Josh is like six foot four. I mean, he's the guy's a giant. Fourteen. Yeah. And I told him about the stand. He's like, I gotta go see it. And we get over, and he sets it down. His wife Kristen's like really small, big butt killer. She was all excited about it. She's like, man, I can finally like it's lighter. I can get up there. Yep. And he gets on. He's like, dude, I'm gonna use this as a the camera stand because they film for Real Tree and the yeah. Virtue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he's like, I- I'll get the 1.0. That'll be the hunt stand. And I'll get this for the camera stand since you don't have to move as much, yeah. mm-hmm. and they can tuck it up there. So he's already seeing different uses just for like their media production and, and just stealth of getting in on a big buck with all the, their camera equipment and everything like that. And he was eyeballing the <laughs> the pocket arm, too, which is pretty cool to see. So yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, man. Yeah. So that's the lineup. List? Uh, I think we oh, – isn't that enough? You got uh, – <laughs> what, what more do you best, want? The best, the most compact, lightweight uh, camera arm, smallest stand now, the most compact sticks, the most compact uh, and lightweight double step. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'd like suggestions of what you guys are looking for yeah. for our next uh, we, project. We should now. throw – Name yeah. ideas out for that stand. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. If you got a if you anybody got a, out there, if you got an awesome name for this new, uh, this new, um, and you know what? If you if we pick the name that you choose, Cody you will go. get a tattoo of your face somewhere, uh, and that's what we'll do. We'll figure something out there. So that's okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I can do what, that. dude? No, if we'll we, do something. We'll if we can find room, high stakes. For your face. You gotta have a pretty face, though. Yeah. And uh, that's a that's a good point. But no, <laughs> yeah, so. stupid. All right. Well, you guys are killing it. That's uh, fun. Yeah, that's this show's exhausting. Year two, yeah. It is, it is. But it's a good time, man. Um, Back her up, get to work, trying to build these inventory them, get some stock for you folks who want them. Uh, yep. Yeah. So I mean, I guess let's yeah let's talk about that a little bit. We're, you know, we're trying to get everything in stock as soon as we can. Uh, right now, I think the camera arm will probably be the first thing that'll be available. Right. Um, I think we have some ambushes in stock, a few sticks in stock. Mm-hmm. We're going to try and get a few more 1.0s, and then I think the next round would be yeah, camera arm. 
Yeah, but and then double step. As far oh, as oh, Aiders will be in in a couple weeks. So awesome. Yeah. As far as the new stand, you know, probably closer to fall, summer. Just um, you know, working some some final designs out and and um, you know, we'll post, we'll post updates on that, and I'm sure we'll talk about it in the next podcast too. So oh yeah, keep cool. everybody informed, but. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, we'll try to keep it updated here and on working class on that weekly episodes there. Keep everybody in the loop on it. So, cool. Quick little podcast. We cover it over and close out the show. Awesome. Yeah. ATA. I think, what I what think are you closing a, with? I think that's a wrap. What are you closing with? Work for it. I remembered. I thought you were going to switch it. it up every oh, show. That's shit. what we do. Oh, we do this every episode. So you're not going to say shit. I quit. Bro? We're out. <laughs> All right. Peace.